Hi everyone. Santuana was a 112-gun three-decker ship of the line of the Spanish Navy, built to plans drawn by engineer Miguel de la Puente, following a specification issued by José Romero Fernández de Landa. Her actual constructor at Forol was own Roto Bullion. She was the prototype and lead ship of the Santuana class, also known as Los Merigildos, which were built during the following years at Forol and Havana and which formed the backbone of the Spanish Navy. The other ships were the Mexicano, Conde de Regla, Salvador del Mundo, Real Carlos, San Amenahildo, Reina Maria Luisa and Principa de Asturias. She was launched on 28 September 1784 at the Riles Hostiaeros de Estero, at Farol. Her dimensions were 213.4 burgos feet, 59 meters long, 58 feet, 16 meters, in the beam and a total tonnage of 2,112 tons. She was tested at sea on 28 February 1785 under the captaincy of Felix de Tejada who reported the test to his commanding officer that the ship kept the battery in good use in a fresh wind and heavy seas. The success of the trials led to a royal order that subsequent three-deckers would be built to the same plans. From 1803 to 1804 she was captained by Dionisio Alcala Galliano. On 20 August 1805 Cadiz was blockaded by a British fleet under Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson. On 19 October, the combined French and Spanish fleet left Cadiz, with Alavar on board of his flagship, the 112-gun Santa Ana. On 21 October, they met the British fleet and the Battle of Trafalgar ensued. At Trafalgar she was the flagship of Teniente General Ignacio Maria de Alavar y Sines de Neveret and captained by José Ramón de Gardoqui, she suffered 97 killed and 141 wounded, with Alava himself seriously wounded, and was captured by the British. However, two days later, a squadron jointly under the command of Commodore Cosmo Kerguelen and Spanish Commodore Enrique MacDonald succeeded in recapturing her and getting her back to Cadiz. After Gravina died of the wounds he had received in the battle, Alavar became the commander of the remaining ships in Cadiz. At the start of the Peninsula War in 1808 she was undergoing repairs at the arsenal and so could not participate in the capture of the French squadron under Admiral Rosilly. She and her sister ship Principe de Asturias moved to Havana in late 1810 to avoid capture by the French, and sank in its arsenal in 1816. In 1834 she could still be seen next to the Principe de Asturias, which had also sunk, in the mud in front of the arsenal.
Thanks for watching.